Did you know it is possible to write smaller than the human eye can perceive? Universities and industries are using a special type of microscope, the Focused Ion Beam, or FIB, to image and pattern at scales invisible even to an optical microscope. For example, an FIB can drill 1 nanometer wide holes. That's equivalent to about 8 hydrogen atoms. Boring such a hole in a hair would be like sticking a thumbtack in the middle of a big soccer stadium. FIB can even be used as a nano 3D printer to create structures in the nanoscale around one billionth of a meter in size. But how does an FIB work? Ions, usually positively charged, are extracted from a source and accelerated down a vacuum chamber, where the beam is shaped and focused by electrostatic fields. This is achieved through lenses, which reminds us of how an optical microscope focuses light. But here the lenses are electrostatic. The beam then enters another vacuum chamber where the sample is placed and scans it with the help of additional electric fields. The ions bump into the sample surface, removing and displacing some of its atoms, almost like a water hose cutting through sand. The electrons generated in the impact area are collected to create images that are shown in real time in the operator's computer, where the fabrication pattern is designed. And the ions can also induce interaction with a material introduced in the chamber, usually in gas form, depositing it on the surface to create 2D and 3D structures. So what do we use it for? As a very powerful tool that allows 3D imaging and fast controlled material modification, FIB has many uses in nanofabrication. In the semiconductor industry, it is essential for finding and repairing faults in circuits. In biology, it has been used to create 3D models of cells. In medicine, FIB helps to develop targeted drug delivery systems that enhance efficiency and minimize side effects. And these are just a few examples of FIB's huge potential. Scientists from various fields are working hard to further explore the real world benefits of this technique, and some of them have joined forces in fit for nano This group, formed through a cost action, has produced this video to spread their research and make nanoscience more accessible to the public.